Titan. <clears throat> Can you elaborate about being a mentor? You say that you're a mentor in uh, Burrow, Sun, uh, Cameron. What it mean to you to be a mentor? Um, you're a real son. You know, he's extremely talented. And uh, he's, uh, he's way uh, past my league when it comes to high school times and things like that. You know, so I don't know how much mentor I can do to him. Because <laughs> he's, he's almost running, you know, professional time at this, at this point, you know. You know, but uh, it really feels good because I haven't really been in, in the opportunity to to be one on one and talk to someone at that type of talent at this at, at their age. You know, um, so it does feel good to be able to chat it up with him a little bit and see how he's doing and so forth. And it'd be good to meet him here and um, see how well he does. But um it's exciting because this year is a world championship year. I'm pretty sure if he qualifies he'll probably go for the trials. So then I'm gonna have to treat him like an <laughs> 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 Tyson, <laughs> running that fast while Bolt was running 10.09, being so healthy while Blake is injured, do you feel like that could be your year? Um, I mean, I, I, regardless if they're running or not, or healthy or not, you know, I don't look at my year as, as um, depending on how they're doing. You know, I always look at my training and how I'm doing it. And I don't wish that on anybody. Um, I seen Wallace Spring report up the other day, you know, and, um, and I'm cool with Wallace, but I don't like to see people hurt because I've been hurt with anybody. So I know what it truly feels like. So I would like to see all those guys get healthy and just see what happens. Soccer power pulled up. You know, that doesn't feel good to me, you know, because I know what it's like mentally. You know, to see myself walk on crutches for six weeks and then uh, my leg is a lot smaller. And even when the doctor mentioned it then, he said you're still almost an inch or so smaller than the other leg. Your calf may not get to the right size, but just keep working on it. You know you have some imbalances, so you just have to still work through those. So they may not have seen those type of things, but at the same time, I wish all of them healthy, you know, so you can all put them in a great show. Uh, Tyson, you're, you're 31 now. You're eligible to actually have to master's. Uh, <laughs> do you feel the years catching up to you in any way, or do you just think you can just keep running like at this level forever? Um, I know I won't be able to run forever. I'll be a lot closer to retiring than running forever. But at the same time, I really believe I'm going to take care of my body. You know, next few years are going to be real good for me. Because I didn't run 2011. I took off that year. I only ran a couple of meets. And then last year, I didn't really have a heavy load on myself either. So I feel like I still have some years, you know, left in, left in me because of um, just uh, from injuries in the past. So um, I think I still have some uh, grown man strength to look forward to. Is the motivation still there to get that medal in Rio? Yeah, it's still there. Um, I think it's still there. Um, because um, I remember friends saying, we said, man, this year is going by so fast already. Next year's an office, so I'm already been thinking about taking it easy next year, you know, to uh, preserve my body. So then I have two years after that. So, I mean, I'm just looking forward to putting a plan together to make it, you know, to 2016. Uh, that's my goal. And um, when I see myself do stuff like having ran 200 in a while, it's not like I came off a healthy, healthy season last year and still put up the numbers that I put up this year. I think it's showing I still have a lot left in the time.